Hello traders, FS Pickletta here. Today is Friday, April 19th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on gold, I'm still very bullish overall. I still think there's a very, very good likelihood that this is going to go up at least to the 161.8, right around the 25 area hundred and fifty dollar area to finish off a wave three i think this is extremely clearly a wave one two three eventually make a four and a wave five so keeping that in mind let's head down to the weekly on the weekly time frame i mean yeah we did have a big spike candle right here but to me that definitely doesn't prove anything at all i mean this easily could you know next week actually go up and break those highs and just keep on trending up which i think is very likely because i think this is a one two three and then i also think this is a one two three so we are in what i would call a wave three of wave three so heading down to the daily time frame, I definitely still see this as an uptrend. Those spike candles right there never broke structure. I still don't see a significant lower high. I definitely don't see a break of structure to the downside. I still look at this and say we are in a wave three that is very likely not to, not over yet. So taking it down to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, I mean, there's always a possibility this ends up making a bigger crutzen, which I wouldn't be surprised because it is three waves down and that spike is actually three waves up. It could possibly go down for a five way pattern to the downside before it actually does continue up. But like I've been saying pretty much all week long, I honestly think that this could just end up making like a very overlapping ending diagonal type pattern up to at least a 138.3 to finish off this little sets in a pattern before maybe we get a bigger push down and then another continuation of the uptrend because we had to remember we are in a wave three of three on the much much higher time frames so taking it right down to the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame like i said we are definitely still within this channel if it breaks out of the channel and especially if it does a retest you know retest break then that definitely is going to tell me it's going down but i would still be looking at this as a uptrend and i still think it's going to make an overlapping pattern almost like an ending diagonal like a one a two maybe three maybe four and five waves up to the 138.3 fibonacci extension level and potentially even higher than that so don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to the daily live trading sessions and gives you access to my swing trade setups by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.